What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Jim Leader Geo, and this is episode 15 of our blind Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. Uh, where we left off, we just joined uh, Kao Kaoli City. Where? Where? I forgot where I am. Um. Ooh, want to make sure that uh. There we go. There we go. We're all synced up. Everything's working out nicely. Whoa! Did you see that? If you run in a circle, you do like a. You do a twit, you do a pirouette, and then you go, yeah, wow. I was just being, I was just being goof. Uh, okay, so we're looking for dittos here. Hello. Whoa, why'd you say hello instead of Alola? Alola. Alola. Hold on, the first time you said hello, totem stickers. Okay, that person is a ditto. 100%, that person is a ditto. Uh, we're looking for a vendor who talks weird. Lomi Lomi is the style of massage we practice here in Alola. How about a treatment for your Pokemon? I'll make them feel friendly towards you. We need a Lomi Lomi on your Brion there. Um, no. You can do it on Food Max. Food Max needs the massage. can rub deep into the muscles of that rock being feeling a bit more friendly towards you very good would you like a lovely smelling incense uh, some of these are good right like one of them's the money one prize money yeah it's very expensive though and I do already have the amulet coin and it's not like you can quadruple it by having both so uh, let's see Boost water move, boost psychic, boost rock. Keeps wild Pokemon away if held by the front Pokemon. Grass moves, people miss. And another one that boosts water moves for some reason. So, very good. Spat. I got sp in a spat with Trumbeak while traveling. Now we're closer than ever, so we're going to take a photo together. That's weird. Are you a ditto? No, you're a TM shop salesman. Venoshock, very cool. Aerial Ace, that's an important one. Low Sweep, okay. Steel Wing and Bulldoze. All important TMs, uh, not ones that I'm going to use right now, though. So, I'll come back for those. You know what? No, just in case, it, just so I don't have to forget about them. Low Sweep is very important. Aerial Ace is very important. Uh, Steel Wing is very important. I think only Venoshock is the one I can pass on for now. I don't really need Venoshock. You wanna know if your Pokemon feel friendly towards you or not? No, not right now. I'm sorry, but I don't care. <laughs> A lot of people in here. Eat till they're burst. Flame burst, Pokemon flames. Alola here, new dishes. He loves copying things. Okay to sick of doing something new. I'm very hungry. Delicious food to get stronger. You're a salesperson. Table for one. Yes, please. We offer a daily special that we call our Z sets. Okay. Meat, fish, vegetarian, or special. I'll take the special. It's quite a lot of local Alolan ingredients. A rather unique flavor. It may not be to everyone's tastes if you're okay with that. Okay, local Z. I'll show you your seat. What is happening? In this game, here you are. The thick soup is sour. The fish fillet is full of little bones. The patty is too moist and it leaves sticky juices dripping down your chin. Mysterious grayish thing on the side doesn't taste of anything. It's no good. You can't eat another bite. But I spent money on it. After meal service for our customers, we get two heart scales. So, you come here if you want to buy heart scales, basically, but they make you watch something first, I'm guessing. Do I get something different if I try the other one? Uh, sure, let's try the meat. Here you are. She didn't say anything. She didn't preface it. 
Hmm, fantastic. Pasta is al dente and firm. I actually don't like al dente pasta. I like it a little more uh, well cooked, so it's a little bit, a little bit softer. Absor it absorbs sauces better. Meat sauce goes beautifully with it. The fried eggs have a nice runny yolk that mix the mix in the pasta for even more flavor. It was delicious. I do love cracking an egg over my pasta. That'll be money. And what are you gonna give me? Two heart scales. Got it. So you come here to buy heart scales so you don't have to farm them. That's very nice of them. Good thinking. Got a door over here. Garbage can. Nothing in it. Bedrooms. Multiple bedrooms. I can actually climb on the top bunk. This is someone's room. I'm like very uncomfortable that I'm here right now. There's a laptop there, but I'm not going to check it out. Captain Kiawe gave me this ma this uh, Magmar. You can see that had the potential of the real Iron Chef. Better mix up the grass type and mallow. Magmar. Can't go out there. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. So, I'm not sure what the point of that room was, but sometimes you just got to explore, guys. That's just how it... That's just life, you know? Sometimes you got to take the... Uh, off the beaten trail. Go see what's around you. Explore the world. Totem stickers. Okay, so you're also a ditto, but... Not one that I can see right now. You know what? Outfit someone wearing the Festival Plaza. They can uh, deliver straight to you. No traditional looking clothes for Oranguru. Goo do it. <laughs> Orangurus must be smart enough to speak English. Cha. Pikachu. Bluish purple outfit. Better set off the Pikachu's coloring, you weirdo. Um, I actually really like my outfit, so I'm not going to change it. Maybe if I had blue shoes, or like baby blue shoes, baby blue pants, and a baby blue hat, I'd like it. But the hat matches my backpack and my shirt and my pants. It's great. Olivia's store is way more chic than I would have expected. I know it's a, she's an island kahuna and all, but she seems like such a normal person, you know? I don't know that. She looks very different from the rest of y'all. No pass. Pokemon's holding a letter. You take the letter and read it. Olivia here. Oh. Olivia here. This is Probopass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come and meet me at the Ruins of Life, past Memorial Hill, when you can. Toodaloo. Thanks, Probo Pass. And as for you... Oh. What's up, Probo Pass? You got another thing for me? Pass. Medicine? A max potion? Pass, pass. And now I can't go upstairs. Uh, I've marked the ruins of life on your map. I say we do some shopping now. I don't think there will be shops out there. Welcome to Olivia's jewelry shop. Uh, you got some stones for me. Got one fire, used a thunder, got a water, no leaf. So let's take a leaf. GIC. I guess we could have a thunder in the backup, but there's not really anything I super want to evolve here. Let's do it anyway, though. Just to have one in the, one in the bank. As for you, only one per customer, and that's set in stone. You gonna buy or no? Oh, skull, cover, helix, claw, or jaw? So, jaw is Tyrantrum. I'm guessing helix, Lord Helix himself, Ammonite. Skull. Cover or claw? I'm guessing then claw. One, two, three, four, five. I'm wondering if they're one from every generation. Cover. Tortuga? Tor. Caracosta? Skull. I don't remember. I'm going to look it up because I don't want to make a mistake here. I want to get the one that I like. Let's see. Skull fossil.
Okay. Claw fossil is Anorith. Skull fossil is Cranidos. That makes sense. It's got the dome piece. Helix is, of course, Ammonite. Cover is Tortuga, so I was right about that. And Jaw is Tyrant. So, uh... They all have the rock typing, which I don't really need because I've got, um... Larvitar, and I want to keep using him. It's disappointing, because I would have liked... I don't know why they have the ones that they have here and only these ones, because I was really kind of hoping for Arkin. I would have I would have liked Arkin. Um, so, that's unfortunate. I guess we just... Yeah, okay. So, close that window. Um, yeah, I don't really care then, I guess. I like Jaw because then I could have a, a dragon type. 7,000? No thanks, I literally don't have that much. Uh, and I'm not going to sell because I'm not even going to use the Pokemon. No, I'm not going to read the letter. I already know what it says, but I can't get around you, I'm guessing. Oh, I can. Aha. Did a little onesie twosie on you there. Bag of bones upstairs. A couple of dolls. Stuffles here. This is an actual stuffle. And he wants to play. Turn to the right. Ah, ah, turn to the left. Crisscross. Turn to the left again. No. Nope. Stare at it, then we'll play peekaboo. Then that's it. He really likes peekaboo. I don't know about changing positions, but it's a thing. See, you know what I've never done is changed positions and then literally done everything all over again. So I'm going to test it. This is going to be my last real test at making, playing around with these things, being something. It turned around, looking happy. Does that mean it wants to turn around? I don't know. It's happy. It likes me now. Slide and glide. Ride the waves. Watch the water splash through the air. Come and have the experience of your life. Mantine surfing. More totem stickers. Alright, so I'm done in here. I played with that. There's a lot of little stuff old toys. Chew toys. There's a little baby basket here. Presumably for the stuffle. A couple items up here and we're done with this shop. So, there's a person hanging out in the back. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna go back in. I'm too curious, guys. The curiosity's getting the better of me. I wanna know what they say. He wants to see a carbink. Jules have powers now. She finally has a boyfriend. Uh, looks like there was a shop over to this side there. So after I check out here, get a test for test for me. Sure. What do you want? You're looking for a Natu. Okay. Are they sleeping? Who knows? What are you selling? X items? Good, you're useless. Get away from me, peasant. What are you selling? Ultra balls now? Good for you. I don't have very much money. I spent all of it on TMs. Got another stuffle here. Grr. 
It's a lot stronger than you might think. Stuffle? Yeah, alright. I'll believe it. Stuffle's cute. Totem stickers. Yeah, you're a ditto. Dit. That's a ditto. Totem? Ditto. I knew it. See, I said, I called it. I said, like, to the side, there's the thing. Uh, so the general rule of thumb from now on, since I've already caught Ditto and added it to the Pokedex, if it's Imposter, I'm catching it. If not, I'm just gonna do away with it. Alright, get done away with then, my friend. Ditto defeated. Managed to deal with the Ditto that was disguised as the Herb Seller. And the regular Herb Seller came back and was like, Hey, sorry for being away for a while. I was picking some herbs with Captain Malo. I'll start selling herbs again, so come and see me. Uh, take a photo, it'll last longer. Camera kind of changes a little bit here, just to allow me view of the side, but there's nothing going on over there. Don't know why. No, I didn't mean to go in there, I'm so sorry. I wasted seconds of my life. Can I get behind this store? Is there anything going on over there? Nope. Okay, so let's uh, see that. I mean, honestly, I made 12k for defeating a ditto, and I just have to run back over here. And I know the other people who were saying like totem to to stickers, probably the weird ones. The herb seller. No wonder his interactions with customers are bizarre. Although its appearance may be exactly the same, it can't speak a word. Thank you for dealing with the ditto. Here's a reward to you: 16k. We're moving up, boys. Buying a house. I'm counting on you. Keep investigating the ditto. There's got to be another one. Well, there's got to be three more, right? They said there were five. Oh, I should check that girl first on the way in. Path of least resistance, guys. Spat on by a trumby. Yeah, let's get off the horseback. One lomi lomi. Lovely smelling incense. TM salesman. Uh, I wonder if someone likes me. Totem stickers, which is a weird thing to say. Olivia's store is chic. I mean, I know I talked to these guys before, but any of them could be a ditto now. Just as part of the quest. Like, the the world could be a change in. You know what I mean? You, totem, or grumble, grumble, Alola. Opposite of town, you can find Memorial Hill in the Ruins of Life. I know I'm going to go there very soon. Don't rush me. Olivia's a rock type user. Definitely a strengths of a disadvantage type. I got Cha. Cha will handle all of the business. This is the person who, if I show her a Pikachu, is going to give me the Z Pikachu. Ooh, Eviolite. That's fantastic. Let's have someone hold that. Um, probably Food Max. Yeah, let's have Food Max do it, because it would be useful to boost his defenses a little bit for now. He's not going to be a Tyranitar for a while. Quite a while, guys. He'll be this way for a while. Let's sort this by name. And then let's hover over Super Repel, because that's what I'm going to use a lot. Cool. Very cool. Verily, verily cool. Verily, verily. Uh, tell me something about Pikachu. Don't tell me. You might be a trial goer, trainer like you. I'll help you. I'm a muy excelente hairstylist, you see, but I came here to Alola, a rumor that I just can't help wondering about. I've heard there's a Pokemon Alola with the most beautiful, beautiful curly hair. Hermosa. I have got to see it, even just for a moment, and if I could, I'd love to touch its hair. I've been so distracted by my desire that I've been completely useless at work. Pokemon might be called, so I came up with a genio plan for a trial girl, like you must know tons about all kinds of Pokemon. Please catch a beautifully bemained Pokemon for me and show me with your Pokedex. I'll reward you. Beautifully bemained. She used the word main which makes me think that it's uh mudsdale how do i get upstairs here there's a fence very clearly in the way to er, to totem stickers is this a stairwell can i no 
How do I get up there? The point that has a lighthouse. There's a totem sticker next to it. This fence needs to go away. Does it go once I beat Olivia? Suppose it would have to. Ditto? Should I risk a broken heart or should I not and live in uncertainty? What's wrong? The power ring glistened on your arm. Z moves. Ah, this is destiny. A gift from the heavens, please. You gotta show me your full power. My. Na Nani? I'm too afraid I have to have the courage, but if I see a Z move, it would inspire me to go out. Please, you gotta help me find true love and happiness. Uh, I don't have it attached to anyone yet. Maybe later. Let me attach it to someone first. Um. Okay, here's what we'll do. Fightium Z on Cha. And then... Still gotta lead with pups because then I make more... Alright. Everything's coming up, Geo. Please, you gotta help me find true love and happiness. Don't hold back! <laughs> Don't do it! Office worker Dougal. Oof. Buddy, I hate to break it to you. No one ever fell in love with someone named Dougal. And if I have a viewer and your name is Dougal, I mean it. I'm sorry, but it's true. I just lost the only sub in the world that was named Dougal. Dougal. Like, why would you name your child that? Oh no. Iron defense. I could always switch to Jolteon if this becomes problematic. But you're gonna get all out pummeled. Calm down. That did so little damage, though. I used Iron Defense again. Alright, well, I've used my Z move. I've done what I said I was going to do. Let's have Jolteon finish this off. So I'm not out here trying to. Sp oh my god, he's literally plus six defense right now. Thank goodness I have a special attacker. Wow, that is a shockingly low damage, and you did a lot to me. Dang, Clam Pearl, calm down. I really need Thunderbolt, or something. Thundershock's not cutting it. But Dugal is dead. He's in love, but he's so sad that he lost. But I didn't freshly animate this guy. Pant, pant, I felt your full power. Felt it to my core. I'm so grateful. Please take this. It's from my collection. Uh, Alright. Woo! I've got the courage to confess my love. I confess my feelings at full power, but she was equally full powered in her refusal. But, well, it feels good to have confessed to her. Thanks for helping me out. Now I must push on to find my next one and only love of my life. Wow. 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 Yeah, I don't know that you should use power when confessing your love to someone. Power is not the right word. Courage? Absolutely. That's a beautiful ship. Courage is amazing. Courage is great. People love courage. But power? All right, you. Ditto? No. 
What happened? I can use a water type sticker. A fire type. Probably a grass type. Hiker. No, I would not like some photos. Are you a ditto? No, I don't need you to tell me if any of my Pokemon are from other regions. I have not found a ditto. I have fully explored this city. Was there something on that table? Yes, but it wasn't anything important. Um, okay, so it looks like we done we done did it. We done did it everything in this city, and there was not a ditto anywhere. Unless there's a shop on the right. There is a shop on the right. Totem stickers. Alola. Last shot. Welcome. Hmm. Didn't work out for us this time, guys. Got some athletic tanks, sandy gas tank, lepity, necktie T, bunch of T's, a legendary sporty tank, a seed sporty tank, poison bee, sandy gas, right. athletic shorts. Low top sneaker, drop top. Nah, I'm good. Um, I mean, my outfit's on point already, guys. You gotta, you gotta do better than a couple of sandy gas tees, you know what I mean? Wanna fresh cuts? Come on. Anyone here a ditto, or are you a ditto? You're a hypno. No. Got a little hiding spaces here, but it looks like there's nothing. Is there a door here that I can go through? Looks like no. Don't see any stickers anywhere, so we're done with this place. So I'm disappointed. Uh, I thought for sure there'd be another ditto. Uh, but let's... <laughs> we spent about 20 minutes in that area now, so let's, uh, let's head on California way. I was going to check if that girl standing outside was a ditto. And I'm going to be really disappointed if she was this whole time. No, she's not. You, what do you want? Dead space here, ruins of life, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Memorial Hill. On to it. We've got some trainer battles coming up. Rest in peace, bro. Little kid who wants to battle people who are trying to mourn their loved ones. You're an awful child. People in graves are sleeping forever, right? That is heartbreaking. Oh my god. <laughs> and you're just here to battle because no one has explained to you, preschooler Liam, what death really is. Just because they don't want to see you cry. They shielded you from the truth. Hi, Magby. Alright, preschooler Liam. What do we got here? Cleanse tag. Very cool. Adrenaline orb. Oh, I was just spamming A. I guess there was a hidden item there. Uh, we gotta have a little gander at the ruins of life. <laughs> see if I can see something for myself. <laughs> Checking the little ball. Hey. What's up, Gentleman Smith? How you doing? <gasps> you have a Jolteon too? Disappointingly, Gentleman Smith's Jolteon used Thunderfang. And it was a higher level than my Jolteon, which leads me to believe my Jolteon is going to learn Thunderfang soon. But I don't want Thunderfang. I want it to learn Thunderbolt or something useful. Like, you know, Discharge or something. Just, you know, <sighs> something else. Last time in the playthrough, this person had a Comfy. I remember. Hi, Madame Sayuri. Furfro instead of a. Oh, he got it designed! I need to know where the hairstylist for this is. I wonder if it's any hairstylist. I wonder if it's not just for me, if it's for Furfro. Okay, very cute Furfro. I really want to know where I can get that. Uh, icon. Let's see. Wait, what? 
you touch a Pokemon's icon during a Pokemon battle, you can see detailed information about how it will stack up in battle. Interesting. We got a punk girl over here. But she wants me to call her Punky. Is that your name? Because I will call you Punky if that's your name. Your name is Melissa. I'm sorry, punk girl. I'm going to call you Melissa. Furfro being a single evolution Pokemon is slowly losing its uh, initial appeal that came with it when it was first captured. It's starting to fail to hit. It's like really, it's not even confidently in the two hit KO range for some evolved Pokemon anymore. It's really only Okoing things like that Zubat that we just fought. So, um, oh, I was supposed to go on the other side of those trees. Uh, but it looks like we're fine. <laughs> Team Skull, give back that Pokemon. No. Don't give me trouble. I'll reduce you to rubble. Yeah, that's right. We're going to sell this Pokemon to get rich. We won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're going to have to take it. No. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. That's what you say, chief, but don't lift a finger. Why, I am the Aether Foundation's last line of defense. What would become of the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Ah, here's a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these Team Skull Ruffians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. You ready? Because I was born ready, yo. Ah, no. I lost it forever, almost. I'm really sad. I used to have a really cool stylus that came with Pokemon Diamond. It had a little Dialga on it. Um, and then I broke the Dialga off, but kept the stylus. And then the stylus <laughs> got lost somewhere. I don't know where it is, basically. I have no idea where it is. Uh, we got Eradicate here. Exchanged a Headbutt for a Crunch. And then flinched him, got... And then used my third headbutt to take him out. Furfro the victor. That loss was pathetic. Your moves were so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. Phew. No. Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed. You are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I'm deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly astounding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to Hano Grand Resort, and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so good. I'm so glad there are nice young trainers like you. Good luck on your island challenge. Ate the foundation guy. What's his problem? He sort of acted full of himself. He sure did wrote him. I don't trust him. Um, we are going to use a super repel because I don't want to fight another silly Zubat. Uh, we're in like a cemetery area, so I imagine it's just going to be another ghastly. I already dropped off my ghastly because I wasn't cutting it. Wouldn't mind a Gengar, but then I would have to trade can't really do that. So let's just keep uh, keep moseying about our merry little way. Got a TM at the end over there. And we got a trainer battle here. Hmm, that fisherman had a wishy-washy. Which uh, my weakened furfro couldn't take on. And then I missed a bunch of rock slides. So that was very frustrating. And also, I didn't realize it had, it was mixed, so Jolteon went down in the process, too. Very annoying battle. Kind of the frustrating thing about being not fully healed when you go up against difficult Pokemon. But, I'm okay with Pokemon fainting. That's the game. We got Crab Brawler. Okay. My roommate just got into his car right outside my window. And it sounds like he's going to blare his music, so I apologize if it's uh, overheard in the video here. Is there an item in here? No, there isn't, but there's an item there instead. Very cool. 
Got another tiny mushroom. Lots of little mushrooms here. Is that trying to hide anything? More mushrooms. Tons of mushrooms. And we're at the ruins of life. So, you're the one Gladian's talking about. <laughs> you don't look like anything special to me. I'm Plumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numbskulls. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But if you don't think some dummies are cute in their dumbness, you know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me, Plumeria. You want me to call you Punky too, Plumeria? Is that what you want? But we got a boss battle here. She's got a little skull that her multicolored hair is coming out of. Pink and blonde. It's a cute look. Cute look, Plumeria. And you got a gold bat. Well, I have got something that doesn't do super great against you, but let's see how we're going. Just like a Team Skull grunt to use Confuse Ray on me. Don't hit yourself, Cha. Thank you. Let's see what you got next. Send out something for me. Stoutland? No, Salandit. I just saw an S. That was all I saw. That's all I saw. Um... You know who could take on Salandit is Food Max. Food Max got a little bit of little beef on him. Resists fire. If he goes for poison, it's you know it's whatever. But yes, resist the flame burst. And now I can hit back with super effective rock slide. Even though I missed several of them in my last battle, I should be through all the bad luck, and most of these should hit from now on. Boom. Sorry, Plumeria, but you're very easy to defeat in combat. Ooh, my last video finished uh, doing its thing. You know, I gotta be honest. Um, I really seriously thought when I finished the Mallow trial that I was pretty much done with this place. But, but mess with anyone in Team Skull again and I'll show you how serious I can get. I really thought I was done. Like, this island, I'm just gonna walk to the, to the uh, harbor and then just... That lady is not super strong. You're very incorrect, Rotom. Nice try. The Ruins of Life with Tapu Lele. Anything here? Oh. <laughs> Geo. Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her own way to Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them, and that's why she got lost. Now, I gotta go. The Master Royal has a match, and there's no way that I'm missing it. That Master Royal. What do you think he looks like under that mask, anyway? Uh, like your husband? I came here for Nebby, though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the Professor's help. Oh, look at your paw, Halucha. Let me hear heal it for you, won't? Uh, actually, Halucha is fine. It's the Furfro who needed it. But I'm sure you healed them all. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. It's Tapu Lele's ruin. Pew! You? I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins so important to you? What do these guardians mean to you? Pew! Just think what would have happened if you hadn't been there back then. Pew! Oh. Haven't I seen you with Kukui? Yes, my name's Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant, and this is Geo. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Geo... 
Thanks for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. What? What are you even saying to me? Alright then, you've completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. I'd love to. Let's see what we got here, boys and girls and other. Great, we're going to give you guys everything we got. And my partners are adorable, rugged rock types. <laughs> rugged? Uh-oh. I'm blowing up. Challenge. Ooh. Give me that snapback look, Olivia. Anorith. Are you floating and then just... Like the most insane plank of all time? So, Pups is going to do very little this battle. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to hard switch. There's no point in me... Sticking around here. Doing naught. I don't know if Anorith has his water typing yet. So, Envy, if he doesn't have him, Envy's just going to be hitting him for spe on his special side, which is weaker of the defenses, so that's fine. She might... What other ones might she have? Any of the fossils. Bug bite. Oh my god, that did so much damage. And I really don't have... I really don't have much going on. No, it doesn't have the water typing yet. It's, three bug bites is going to take me out, so... MV, uh... I'm have to pull you back, kid. Send in Cha here. Bug bite's not going to do much to, to you. So, oh, I'm sorry, it's it's bug rock, it's not water. I always, I made that confusion because uh, I know that when he evolves, he gets Aqua Jet. And so he's sometimes used on, uh, on rain teams. But not to worry, not to worry. Oh, wait, <laughs> bug rock is neutral to both Brick Brick and Aerial Ace, isn't it? I forgot. One resists, one does not. But Halucha doesn't care. Halucha will ha make quick work of this gym. Unless there's a ghost rock. That'd be funny, like, the most hard and the most ethereal lack of hardness all in one. Little leap! Oh, Cray Dilly. Cray Dilly Dilly. Cheers. Uh, who's the last one? Lycan Rock. Which form? Werewolf. Midnight form. You're slow enough that I should outspeed you, and you're very weak defensively, and down you go. That was not the hardest battle I've had so far in Alola. In fact, the only thing you did was weaken and not even take out Jolteon, and Jolteon only has Thundershock right now. Diamonds only sparkle after coat is Coal is pushed to its absolute limit. Hmm. <laughs> you guys are the best here. The rock type Z crystal, the Rockium Z is all yours. Alright. Dance predictions. Because I don't remember. I imagine it's gonna like she can do something like a boulder. And then like she's got like two fists. Or is she gonna be like it? It crumbles down. Like, I'm imagining something like like a slamming motion. Show me the dance. Move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully. The hip movement. Goosh. Goosh. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Lily is inspired by this attractive, powerful woman. Use it well, the rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, quite physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. Excuse me, you are very strong. Pew! 
You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, oh, by the way, Lily, this may be a weird question, but why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I wanted to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems it found the Ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I'll find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of, your, of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardian at all costs. Unless they're strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Pew? Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person. So I can't help but give you a hand. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, she helped me out too, I guess. <laughs> Aw, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm half from Icky Town. You gotta let me battle you. Narar. Oh, <laughs> hey, Geo. Guess what? The weird green guy from Aether told me to come to Hanu Grand Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation? I'm not sure what he wants with you, Geo, but why not go find out? If you want to keep, if you don't want to keep him waiting, the Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. Aether Foundation? Um, I think I'll stay here. Uh, I'd like to see how House Battle goes too. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt, but you know, I know uh, both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling. Beside you too. Maybe I can show off Tora Cat and the rest of the team's strength, like my Gramps. But I'm still gonna do the best I can do. You're just you, right? Everyone is. What's wrong with that? Why should it matter who your family is? I want to see what you kids can do. So show me your own full power. Hmm, I wonder why Lily is so afraid of the uh, blah, 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 blah. So we're all done here. Uh, let's fly back to how here, here. Right? Because, yeah, Diglett's Tunnel, Memorial Hill. And it's kind of over this direction, yeah. So I gotta, I gotta head on out California way. But you know what? This is gonna actually be where I end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll just do the uh, the Grand Resort and then head off to the next island. And I don't remember what the next island is called, uh, but I know that uh, Mali City is there. So we'll, uh, that's probably where we're gonna land. So we'll head over to Mali City in the next episode. Uh, as always, my name is Jim Luda Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.